Today on the Griddle Guys, we got $75 worth of frozen oh, pizza. Oh, oh stop complaining. Bad. Jeez. It's the Giorno, not delivery. So we wanted to get a national frozen pizza, national brand, available to everyone, frozen pizza. This guy likes it. I was gonna get the uh, Newman's. I like the Newman's better than DiGiorno, but I wasn't, that's me. Wasn't sure if everybody had access to Newman's or not, but- uh, Yeah, they're national. You didn't get the cheese in the crust. You messed up. So anyways, <laughs> we're gonna cook these three ways. The oven, griddle, and a new grill. So we're gonna see which one comes out the best. Then we're gonna- <laughs> What are you looking at me for? <laughs> because I was originally doing it for the convenience. Which one was the most convenient? They yelled at me and said, it's obviously the oven. Right. Said it, forget it. I'm not That's sold the oven. yet. But anyways, stay, stay tuned. We'll cook these three different ways and see which, one's see which one tastes best. Tastes best. Yes, I agree with that. Like, it comes out the best. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. <laughs>
and go with some, in, and I'm actually gonna turn on the broiler as well. Get the oven effect. Get the oven effect, because we gotta get the top cooked. You can see the cheese, Jeff, if you zoom in here. Cheese hasn't started to melt. The edges of the crust have not, not really cooked. So I'm gonna bring the temp way up with indirect heat. I wanna get this up. What was the instructions on this, 400 or 425? 400. So I wanna get this up 400 or above. So same thing with mine. I actually already moved mine over to the, uh, I shut this burner off. My crust was looking really, really good. Look at that. Yeah, that does look that good. exactly yeah. how I want yeah. it. But like Nate's, same thing. I'm, Topping, not get, yeah. I'm not getting the top cooked at all. So I've cranked this left side up on high. I'm gonna keep that shut. Probably probably gonna wait about another five to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna hit it with the grill blazer. All right, well, finish it. I, I wanna try mine without the grill blazer and see if I can get it done. Cause not everybody has a grill blazer. If you don't, you should probably buy one. <laughs> if you don't get one. <laughs> but I feel like we're always selling stuff, but we're not really. That's like the best thing we've ever bought. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. Well, we'll try and do this one with Elvin. See if we can get it done with Elvin. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm doing very well here. I'm very happy with the crust underneath. It looks perfect. It's been maintaining, not getting too bad. And I'm getting, definitely have some melt up here, but it needs a little extra kick, I think. Jeff's been done for about five minutes now. Obviously the, uh, the oven was the quickest method. I just want to kind of, a little bit. Plus you know I love using this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if his dough is gonna, cook all the way through. What do you think? I think it's cooked. I don't think it's rising as much as mine in the oven. No, the, the you, oven don't get, one. you don't get the, the oven heat as much in here. So we've kind of all agreed that we're going by whatever piece it tastes the best. So it doesn't really matter. And he, he stole my garlic on the uh, griddle top trick there. Yep, so that, the garlic crust. Yeah, that actually adds to it. So that cheese, you can tell, was ready to start melting with how it's taken on the color so yep. quickly. Actually, the whole thing was hot. Look how quickly it's browning. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be the case if that was still. It's starting to get that oven color you got. Yeah, focus, focus. It is. Actually, it looks better. It looks more like a charcoal pizza or a wood fired pizza. Yeah. This looks good. That looks good. All right. Well, I'm just going to wait for Nate. Nate's up, yeah. <laughs> All right, so for mine, it's been on probably close to 20 minutes now. I got some, can I borrow that? Let's, let's point out the benefit of this Monument Grill and this fact that it has such a big upper rack. Actually, know you know what, I was, there. I told you guys I don't see the need for the window and then I'm like, I keep looking in the window so I stand corrected. <laughs> but we got good crust rise. This side is a little bit more brown than this side. And I did move it up to try to melt some of the toppings. So now I'm gonna, I have the broil burner on. Just gonna try and get some color on this side, see what happens with that. It was definitely roll was pretty good. That yeah, rises. but I did get the, I got the grill up to 600 degrees oh, and, I moved, and I moved it up. So it really was like an oven effect. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends see on how the crust come out. See what the bottom looks like. Yeah, that bottom's getting pretty dark. I, I don't want to hit it with the, I'm not going to hit it with the grill blazer. We got to do it without the grill blazer. <laughs> I don't want to, but I kind of want to, to push it along. <laughs> That's what I was, I was tempted. Yeah. All right, let's give it another four or five minutes and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna call mine done. I got nice charcoal -y crust. I can't believe you guys pulled me off the couch for this. <laughs> uh. Wake up from your nap. You got a cutting board? Yeah. Right. See, it's not even floppy. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Mine was floppy going and on. I don't know what it's like now. Look at the color he got on the top. That's pretty good. Yeah, but truth be told, I did get that up to 600 degrees in the, on the grill, Jeff. Well, that's the benefit of the floppy grill. Either, actually, it's stiffened right up. Boom. All right. <laughs> what, what, what stiffened right up, Jeff. You like that? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Let me see, Jeff. <laughs> Look at that. You can actually see the comparison between the two. Yeah. Grill blazer definitely made a difference. Hey, don't mix those ones up. Yes. All right, we'll be. Don't mix those up. We'll, we'll know. We'll know. Jeff, just look at that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> don't drop those. All right, so we have the final product here. I'm going to use the phone to zoom in for you guys. First pizza here, this is the grilled pizza. So you can see the toppings did not get particularly dark. Cheese did melt. We got a good rise on the crust. And uh, underneath here, you know, some nice color. Next up, we have the griddled with the grill blazer mm -hmm. and some nice charring on the topping. As you can see, the pepperoni got some nice, uh, nice color on it. Yeah, that would help. Oh, and a nice color on the bottom. Okay. And then here we have the oven version. 
So it kind of looks a little bit more dry than these on the top, right? Agreed. So the pepperoni, not much color. Sausage, not much Doesn't color. Doesn't look crispy. Right? Yeah, let's look at the bottom. No, the bottom it did. The bottom's very light. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just gonna have to cut into them and see how they taste. All right. Let's go with the oven first. Yeah, let's go with the oven. Go with the uh, iron. Very soft. No, well, I was gonna say, it doesn't taste like delivery. It tastes like the Giorno. <laughs> it's the opposite of it, right? Yeah, not terrible. Next up is griddled. Griddled. Definitely much sturdier. Oh, hot. It's hot. Oh, garlic salt on the bottom, Jeff. You ever try it? <laughs> Look, I, had, I wish I had the camera. I got Duncan resting his head on my leg. Yep. He's looking for a bite. Yeah, that's tasty. The griddle one's tasty. Dough is cooked all the way through. Mm. Nice crunch on the bottom. Not burned. I'm going to the grilled. And so I was kind of curious because it didn't rise as much as the others because it didn't have as much of a baking effect. Mm -hmm. I was kind of curious if it was going to be more cardboardy or yeah. doughy. It's not. It really isn't. And aesthetically, again, I've said this a thousand times, I like the look of it. Yeah, the grill blazer. I like the grill blazer. So the gas grill, also not as floppy as the oven. Not as crispy. No, but it's different. Different, it tastes different. So for three of the exact same pizzas, mm -hmm. they all taste different. Mm -hmm. And I already have, like I think it's a noticeable difference. My favorite, like it's a, it's not a question. What, what is your favorite? Do we, want, do we want to release that yet? I don't know, give me another bite of the grilled one. Because The grill is not as crispy as the griddle. Mm -hmm. I think if it was a little crispier, it might be my favorite. I think it cooked the top a little better, even though you, you didn't use the grill blazer. I gotta go back to the griddle before I decide. All right, I made up my mind. Do we want to say it at the same time? Jeff, right. you and I have never agreed on anything in our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one, two, three. <laughs> griddle. Griddle. <laughs> There it is. Which works out for us because we're the grill guys. We are the grill. <laughs> and that yeah. is a, that's as much of an unbiased opinion as it can as it can possibly be. The gas grill one is a it's close second, very close it's second. It's a close second, but yeah. for a frozen pizza, having that extra crispness that you get from the griddle, it's it changes everything. And then the grill blazer, the toppings just taste better having a little bit of char. And like, it definitely cooked through. I mean, it wasn't like doughy in the middle. It no, it wasn't. The grilled one is good and it's mm -hmm. crispier than the oven. Both are better than the oven. Yes. But the grilled one is just more mild flavored. With the griddled one and the grill blazer, you get a little bit more smokiness, a little bit more char, you a little get bit the more pepperoni crisp. juices that actually came out of it and yeah. got into the cheese. It's very good. Yeah. Could I have done that if I had the grill blazer on the, the gas grill? Yeah. It would have helped. But yeah, but I don't think your crust still would have been as good. Probably not. You know? No. I think it's actually worth, and it wasn't much extra effort to cook it on the griddle. No, a little more time. I mean, I could actually, if it start to finish, we could have done it. What, what was yours in there? 24 minutes, right? 24 minutes, yeah. We could have done it 24 minutes. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, Mark? Success all around. Not a bad pizza. No. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. The, the griddled and the grilled, not a bad pizza. I much prefer it over the oven. Yeah. The oven's kind of squishy and floppy. The dough, the bottom is horrible. The oven tastes like you expect a frozen pizza to taste. Right, right. And these other two taste more like a, yeah. a, good, a good pizza. pizza. Yeah. 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 All right, well, guys, if you hung around, you thank go. you. Subscribe, yeah. like. See you in the next video. Yeah. Take Cheers. it easy. Cheers. Cheers, man. Damn, me and Nate agreed. Why not? It's like this guy yeah. used to work at a pizza shop or something. No, no. Well, actually once. Did you? I had one short stint, yeah. Felt bad for the people who ordered pizza from us when I was working. <laughs>